Hello and welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of the WNBA. And tonight we've got the Los Angeles Sparks playing against the Seattle Storm. With Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled to have you with us. This is an important game in the Commissioner's Cup. Both teams have a shot to make the final. And that adds another layer of excitement to this one. Regular season game with extra importance. Each squad very much alive in the cup race. Sykes outside. Pass to Agumake. Oliver. Yes, and it's Shanae Agumake picking up the assist. Heads up by Agumake to find her teammate. She draws so much attention, it can lead to easy buckets for others. Now Stewart. Stewart with the screen. Bird with it. Pass to Ball Queen. Now here's Charles. And the basket is good. Inside, Charles really takes charge, gets physical, and doesn't let anything keep her from scoring. Now here's Tolliver. Over ball queen. Tolliver, no good. Seattle with the ball. Stewart up top. Soft touch off the glass. Don't underestimate Charles' playmaking ability. She's capable of making some advanced passes. Going all in. That was the 2K drive, and it's well worth the second look. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Now here's Tolliver. That one drops for her. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Outside, Stewart. Pass to Bird. From past the arc, drills it from outside. Talk about a great start. Three of three from the field to get the game going. Now here's Tolliver. Here's Walker. Guarded by Charles. Now Ogumake. Over Ball Queen. Shoots over Bird. And that's good. Off the glass that time. When your star also does the dirty work, like Agumake, it sets a tone for the rest of the team. Bird outside. Back to Stewart. Yep, that one goes. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's just a nice start. First quarter ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Well, 2016 was perhaps the biggest draft lottery in league history. The prize being generational star Brianna Stewart. And luckily for Seattle, the ball's bounced their way. Now here is Sykes. And a miss there on the triple. Ball queen with the ball. First quarter play and we're about three minutes in. Stewart misses. Well, the addition of Brianna Stewart to the Storm, it changed the trajectory of this organization. A Stewie has been incredible. 2018 winning MVP, a couple finals MVPs as well. A difference maker on both ends of the floor. Brianna Stewart is the definition of a franchise player. Nice touch near the hoop. Seattle in the lead. Pass to Charles. Screen by Charles. Bird outside. Outside Lloyd. Shot clock at six. Takes the three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. You know, back her rookie year, she shot around 20% from downtown. But Lloyd has put incredible effort to improve her long-range shot. Now she's close to a 40% shooter. Now here is Agumake. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Outside Charles. Pass to Ball Queen. Outside Lloyd. The pick by Ball Queen. And here's Charles. Outside Lloyd. Over Sykes. She can't hit that time. And the sparks the other way now. 
they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Now Tolliver. Ogumake defended by Stewart. Sykes outside. Shoots from the elbow. They get it back. Walker's shot is good. Fierce on the glass. Walker's rebounding ability is a big reason she was a top 10 pick. Pass to Charles. Charles with screen. Outside Lloyd. Top of the key. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. It's been a very efficient first quarter for her, and she's just creating good opportunities. And when you do that, you can convert. Now here's Tolliver. She's got six. They shoot again. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. And the coaching staff wants Walker to be aggressive on offense because they know it'll draw the defense's attention. This is her first opportunity at the line this evening. The first one falls. Not only is this a key regular season game, it also weighs heavy in the Commissioner's Cup standings. Yeah, each of these squads has a chance to get into the final. It is a must win if you're talking about the cup race. And so she hits both. Well, what you appreciate about Jasmine Walker is that she knows the kind of player she is. Doesn't play outside of herself. Outside Williams. Pass to Stewart. And Samuelson pulls it down. That's a surprise. Out of character for her to miss those when the D's not right in her face. Here's Canada. Carter with it. Kept alive by the Sparks. Back to Canada. Pass to Walker. And another shot! And she takes it up and lays it in. And that'll tie this game up. And you just have to appreciate the intelligence in Canada's game. She knows exactly how to break up the defense and create for her team. Now here is Stewart. And she drops it in from the low post. You know, she's having a nice quarter, scoring with confidence. Pass to Burrell. Walker the screen. Shots good by Burrell. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Here's Talbot. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Stewart inside. It's hauled in by the Sparks. Playing for a Russian club team back in 2019, Brianna Stewart tore her Achilles during the European title game, the final game of the season. Here's Talbot, defended by Carter. A nice shot by Stewart. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. Outside, Carter. Pass to Burrell. Puts up a three. The shot, no good. Now Seattle takes it the other way. Well, unfortunately for Stewart, she missed the entire 2019 WNBA season. Yeah, the good news, Stewie's come back even better, winning the title in 2020. Yeah, Returning from that Achilles injury is really incredible. Tells you a bit about Stewart's dedication to be the best. They haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. And even this early, that's a good omen for the rest of the game. Now here's Carter. Puts up the three. The rebound by Brianna Stewart. Pass to 
to Talbot. Screened by Magbagor. And it goes as the official calls a foul. Count it. And she'll shoot one more at the line. The Sparks making a switch here. One shot. Sparks trailing. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Now here is Canada. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. That's the Burrell. Agnagore grabs the miss. Now here is Stewart. He's covered closely. January gets the bucket. That's crazy. January bump still keeps her nerve and scores it. Outside Canada. And here's Nelson Adota. Over Magvagor. Nelson Adota with the bucket. What vision from Carter. Able to survey the court, find the open player. Here's January. Outside Williams. Pass to Stewart. Out of bounds. It'll be the Sparks ball. The ball goes to Los Angeles. Substitution for your score. Epiphany Prince. Now the Sparks with it. Trailing by five. Outside Canada. Here's the floater. She gets that one. Fantastic use of the floater. Canada is a smaller guard, so the teardrop is a big shot for her in her game. From deep. She got it up in time, but it couldn't fall for it. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. It's the Storm, up by three. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? They've made the most of their fast break chances here in the early going. Yeah, tie your shoelaces because they can run and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. Seattle leading. Pass to Magvagor. Outside Williams. the left rim and out. Ogu McKay outside. Oh, shot by Canada. No good. There was not a ton of congestion in the lane and she could have done better for sure. Back to Charles. Over Canada. Charles, no good. So it's the Sparks now. It's a three-point game. Ogumake outside. Inside. Williams with the steal. Charles up top. She's covered by Ogumake. Charles no good. Second quarter and we're just over a minute in. Now Canada. Ogumake outside. Pass to Sykes. Green by Ogumake. 11 feet out. Chalk up two right there. Great to see the mid-range still used. Sykes loves this area of the court. It really fits her game. Now here's Prince. Outside Charles. 
Outside Williams. And here's Ball Queen. Charles in the post. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Easily one of the most tenacious rebounders in the league. Charles is very familiar with second chance points. Oh, Gumake outside. Back to Canada. Six to shoot. Pass to Ogumake. And that one good. Eight of the last ten points. That's right, you heard me right. Eight of their last ten points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. Something's got to change. You know, the defense making it far too easy for them, and they're taking advantage. Now here's Ball Queen. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And she is on the money with her first shot today. She will make you throw your hands up as a defender. It just frustrates you because you just don't know how to play her. Oh, Gumake up top, guided by Charles. And she comes up with the deuce. Dominates the paint, game in and game out. Ogumake is physical around the rim. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded by Canada. Ball Queen. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. It's on Shanae Ogumake. First team foul. Shooting for Seattle. Number seven. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. The Sparks making a switch here. And that's good as she hits both shots. Now here's Tolliver. She's got six. Out to the right wing. Ogumake outside. Tries again. And there's the nice layup by Ogumake. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Now they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range, so I'd have to agree. Now here is Lloyd. She's got five. Outside. The shot's good on the assist by Drew Roy. Well, Sue Bird knows that she has the green light to fire away, and she goes up with confidence off the catch. Entering the league as the top pick all the way back in 2002, Sue Bird is still going. The week against players who were in diapers when Sue started her WNBA career. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Talking about the greatness of Sue Bird, she's played some of her best basketball over the last few years. The timeless wonder. I mean, back in 2020, Sue shot 47% from downtown, her best from downtown. It's just incredible that Sue Bird is still going strong in her 40s. Now here's Bird. She has six. Five on the clock. There's Magbagor. Uh, Gumake with the rebound. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that's gone in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass, they, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. Here's Ogumake. Seven points in the game. The three-pointer is on target. An elite 
an efficient three-point shooter. Tolliver can do damage from beyond the arc. Pass to Bird. Fires from deep. That falls. Nice feed that time from Drew Lloyd. The defense has not done a good job of getting after her because that's her second three-pointer this quarter. Sykes outside. Ogumake outside. And the Sparks, another three. Here's January. Bird outside. Back to January. Pass to Bird. From deep three-point range, and as the shot clock expires, 24-second violation. So both teams making some changes here. The Sparks with the lead. Harder, covered by Lloyd. Outside Carter, pass to Walker, over McLegor, and it's Walker missing. January outside, here's Talbot. For three, it's hauled in by the Sparks. I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Looked good here too. I'm as shocked as you. Now here's Carter. D right on her. And it's Walker missing. And here are the Storm now. Trailing by two. January outside. Watches it. And no good. And the Sparks the other way now. Carter with it. Stewart's there. Here's Samuelson. <laughs> And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot. It's like one of the golden rules of basketball. You never want to foul a jump shooter. Samuelson certainly qualifies as a jump shooter. Taking two shots. She misses the free throw. From a basketball family, Katie Lou Samuelson's sister, Carly, has played with the Sparks. Her other sister, Bonnie, was a big-time college player. I can only imagine the games of horse those three had growing up. And she's good on the second. The Storm Trail. January outside. by Magbegor to the inside and again it's the storm missing so it's the Sparks now outside Carter shot clock at five the 11 footer Magbegor grabs the miss outside the screen by Magbegor looking to end the drought January can't get it to go and here's Samuelson Walker the screen Christy Tolliver for three that's good basket number five on a five for eight shooting night the D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed coming from beyond the arc. Now here's January. Pass to Talbot. The Sparks grab the miss. 
the defense can't make a habit of giving her that shot. So she just doesn't miss many of them. Now here's Carter. Walker the screen. To the paint. Tipped. It's stolen by Magnagor. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. And the basket by Lloyd. A physical guard. Jewel Lloyd gets those hard buckets. Oliver with the ball. 12 points for her. Takes it from 10. And it's good. Off the glass. And here are the Storm now. Six-point game. Up top, January. She's covered by Tolliver. Screened by Magbegor. Rihanna Stewart from outside. And it's out of bounds to the Storm as Seattle retains possession. Both teams will make substitutions. It's Epiphany Prince on the wing. Defended by Carter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Prince. They get the rebound. A nice shot by Talbot. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Here's Canada. Here's Nelson Adota. That one misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Sparks ahead, up by four. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Start of the second half, neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. What can you say? Tolliver, just really an impressive effort here today. You know, she can get to the rim as well as anybody in this league. And in the first half, she got to the rim a lot. Yeah, and that's where her points were coming. So the defense just has to do a better job of challenging her at the rim. No easy buckets. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Outside, Stewart. The pick by Ball Queen. Over Walker. And that one's good, Stewart. Veteran move by Brianna Stewart. Using the pick to get free and find her shot. Uh, you look at the career of Brianna Stewart. Uh, before she turned 26, Stewart had won four college titles with UConn gold at the games and two Cup UNBA titles. Now here's Walker. Back to Tolliver. Here's the three. The rebound by Brianna Stewart. And for young Brianna Stewart, she's also piled up the individual awards. Yeah, in the college tournament, she was an MVP four times. And then the WNBA, she was the 2018 MVP. She was the finals MVP multiple times over. So Stewie has really put together a Hall of Fame resume at a very young age. Well, Sparks with the lead. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half underway. The idea of setting a screen on that play, it was the, the, the good idea, the right idea, but the execution was not. Yeah, you really want to set a hard screen, but you also want to make sure it's a legal one. Outside, Stewart. Pass to Bird. For the lead. Buries the long-range jumper. The all-time leader in games played. Uh, Bird's had a few nights like these. 
Nights where she's just pouring it in. Sykes outside. Picked by Agumake. Now Walker. And that one good. Jasmine Walker. Now ball queen. Outside Stewart. Bird. Back to Stewart. The basket good off the assist from Sue Bird. Their second half has started well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. I like to see that. Obu McKay outside. Now here is Obu McKay. Guarded closely. Oliver. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Gains confidence with every made shot. Tolliver has a different gear she can tap into. Screen by Stewart. Now here's Ball Queen. Back to Stewart. Five to shoot. 13 feet out. Again, Seattle. Everything working for them out of the half as they've hit four of their first five tries. Outside Tolliver. Walker the screen. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. A high IQ basketball player. Tolliver can initiate an offense with ease. Now here's Ball Queen. Charles the screen. Outside Stewart. Lloyd. Over Sykes. And that one hits back iron. Pass to Ogumake. That's another one for her. Her fifth in just seven shots. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. And no lack of aggression on that move. And that's good enough for the 2K drive. What a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration. Now here's Ball Queen. And here is Bird. Close one. Ball Queen. Here's Stewart. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. You simply cannot say enough about the quarter she's having. I mean, every one of her attempts has gone down. Now here's Tolliver. He's got 16. And here's Ball Queen. Pass to Charles. Lloyd. Here's Bird. Screen by Charles. From outside the arc. She's off on that one. And it's the Sparks ball. They lead by one. And it's Agumake missing. And here are the Storm now. Here's Stewart. And that misses. That would have put them up. Sykes outside. Pass to Agumake. And she gets the bucket. A really difficult shot. Ogumake with great concentration, just totally locked in offensively. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Now a timeout called by Seattle.
Sparks making some changes. January with it. Pass to Stewart. Nails the baby hooks. Sometimes there's no defense in the world that is going to stop Stewart. She is that dangerous of an offensive threat. Now here's Carter. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. You know, she shouldn't miss those, but, you know, it happens to the best of them. Here's Ball Queen for the lead. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the line. Exactly. You want to prevent the layup, give them a little knock, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming down the lane the next time around. It does send a message. it up and this next one could give them the lead so after making the first she goes one for two well, they shouldn't be in front right now, but she'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty. Here's Carter. That shot, no good. So the Storm will take it the other way. One of my favorite things about the WNBA, players with so many different backgrounds. Take Ezie Macbegore. She was born in New Zealand to Nigerian parents. Great communication on the alley-oop. Soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley-oop. I've got to say, when she threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Yeah, neither did the defense, <laughs> clearly. Now here is Canada. Let's it go from 11. Bucket is good. And the Magbagore family moved to Australia when Ezzy was just six years old. Ending up in the Melbourne area, really the basketball hotbed of Australia. Ezzy started playing professionally as a teenager and played her first WNBA game before turning 21. Carter is screen from deep. Magbagore grabs the miss. Now Prince, looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Magbagor. Down low, Talbot makes it off the glass. Nice awareness there by Magbagor, finding her open teammate to the bucket. The Sparks trailing. And here's Burrell. Back to Canada. Here's Nelson Adota. Just five to shoot. From deep. Doesn't go for her. So the storm will take it the other way. Here's Talbot. Seven points in the game. Pass to Prince. The three ball. The Sparks grab the miss. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Here's Burrell. Yep, that one goes. No mistake on that one. Good work all around. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Pass to Ball Queen. Williams. From 13. Second chance shot. And it's good on the land. Playing with enthusiasm. Ezzy Magbagor. Big second chance bucket. Outside Carter. And here's Burrell. For the lead. 
Prince grabs the board. To the middle. Talbot, no good. Here's Samuelson. Count the basket. That takes tremendous focus. Samuelson has elite shooting ability, which means she scores when it's hard. Ball queen up top. Guarded by Canada. Ball queen with the miss. Pass to Carter. Canada. Chance there to take the lead, missing. And we wrap up the third, and it looks to be an exciting fourth. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. And the Sparks with possession here. Ogumake outside to take the lead and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. Such a fierce competitor. Ogumake wasn't going to let a little contact prevent her from scoring. The storm trail outside Lloyd. Pass to January. Down to five on the shot clock. Charles with it. Nelson Adota with the rebound. Now here is Sykes, covered by Lloyd. Foul call that time on the way up. And that will give her two chances at the Second That one on Lloyd. Well, you don't always see guards that want to bring it down low. Sykes doesn't take a lot of threes because she'd rather pound the rock inside. Shooting two. And the first one falls for her. Well, Brittany Sykes is a rare breed in the current WNBA. She's a 5'9 shooting guard who barely takes any threes and rather relies more on the mid-range. That one falls, so she hits both of them. And another thing that makes Brittany Sykes different, her defense. You gotta love it. Well, arguably, you know, she's in the conversation for the top guard defender in the league. Sykes is the rare defense first player. Racks up steals, and Brittany plays with just incredible intensity. She's having one of those days where if she takes it, she makes it. Ogu McKay outside. Sykes. Green by Ogumake. Over Lloyd. Sykes with the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here is Lloyd. January outside. There's the triple. They get it again. Back to Lloyd. Yep, 
right through the net. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Now here is Canada. Oguma outside. Shot on the wing. And she nails the jumper. That keeps the defense honest. The ability to hit from that part of the court makes Agumake a nightmare to guard. Now here is Lloyd. She's guarded by Sykes. January outside. Williams sets the screen. The second chance effort. And it's laid in by January. They've gotten some second chances here in the second half, and that extra effort will help cut into this deficit. Outside Canada. To the inside. Walker's shot is good. You know, quite simply, few players make better decisions than Jordan Canada. Obviously, the right choice there. Pass to Stewart. Williams. Now Charles, guarded by Walker. Back to Williams. Rock at six. Offline with a three. Boy, the complexion of this game would be a whole lot different if she had shot the ball anything like she's capable of. Rugged play under the boards. That's showing some real backbone. Charles, the screen. Here's January. And stolen by Walker. Here's Sykes. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. So opportunistic in transition. When Sykes hustles down the open floor, she's going to be rewarded for it. Pass to Williams. Pick by Lloyd. Now here's January. Right side, Charles. An easy two points on the layup. Capable of reading the floor and making the right decision. January, the, the veteran, knows her team depends on her to facilitate. And the Sparks call time here. Deciding to change it up. Now here is Sykes, covered by Lloyd. Oh, Kumake outside. Inside, Oliver. Yes, and it's Shanae Ogumake picking up the assist. A high octane offensive talent. Tolliver plays focused and passionate basketball, and really, she's always improving her game. Now, here's January. Back to Bird. January. Six on the shot clock. 
Pass to Bird. Shoots the three. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a Nikki five for seven. That three puts them well within striking distance, guys. She's had that shot working for her tonight. You bet she has. I mean, look, the triple has just been her bread and butter in this ball game. The storm trail. Outside Stewart. Rebounded by Sykes. Outside Tolliver. Pass to Agumake. That one goes. Count it. I think Tolliver was born to assist because it seems like finding open teammates is in her DNA. Now a timeout called by Seattle. ball queen Stewart she's covered by Ogumake Stewart with the screen just five on the clock there's Drew Lloyd with the three no good and the sparks the other way now Ogumake can't hit ball queen with the ball Pass to Lloyd. Screen by Stewart. The three. And the three ball is good. Look, she didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first, but the defense left her a look, and she nailed it. Outside, Tolliver. Here's Walker. The 11-footer. Another shot, and the layup is up and in. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. Now here is Stewart. Back to Lloyd. Now here's Balkwee. She's tightly guarded. Charles no good. That's one she knows she should have drained. Now Sykes. Pass to Tolliver. Out to Agumake. Now Sykes. Expanding her range. Bird pulls it in. Now here's Ball Queen. The basket good off the assist from Sue Bird. You know, that is right where they wanted to get that ball. Outside Tolliver. 
Walker. It falls through, making her 6 for 11 in this contest. And shots like this help Walker's confidence. She embraces the chance to hit these shots. Now here's Baldwin. She's covered by Tolliver. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot, and we'll go to the line. At the line for your Seattle score. Number seven. At the line for two. So the first one drops, and that shrinks the margin to just four. And she makes both free throws. She's the player you want at the charity stripe in that situation. I got no doubt about that. To the paint. And that one's good. Oh, Gumake. Never afraid of the big moment. Gumake is a great option during the most important part of any game. Pass to Stewart. Good on the shot. What a clutch player. Stewart, an NBA champion, a college champion, international titles. Stewie loves the big moments. Now here's Tolliver. Takes it from 10. With the shot. And she gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. A player who truly lives for these moments. Tolliver converts when her team needs her to. And here's Ball Queen. They double her with Sykes. It's tipped. It's stolen by Shanae Ogumake. And she commits the intentional foul. Third person foul. Third team foul. Here's Tolliver. Not a lot of room. Christy Tolliver drawing the double team. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. Christy Tolliver. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Becoming the first active WNBA player to serve on an NBA coaching staff, Tolliver is a pioneer. The second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point ball game. Those foul shots put them that much more in the driver's seat. Seattle calls timeout. Your thoughts, guys? Well, I'm sure that the, the coach is telling him it ain't over till it's over, but uh, I think it is. Yeah, Tim, it's not looking good for them. It's got to be a quick bucket, a quick foul, and then see what happens. I guess miracles do happen sometimes, Brian.
Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Bird, no good. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. This is a serious game clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off, and they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit just to, to finish this one off. Take the win. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They really did show some mental fortitude. They were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.